Hi Scorpio, I am G1 Rider with G1 Insights and today is all about your life and love energy for the month of July 2019. If this reading does not resonate with you, keep in mind this is a general reading so you may want to look at your moon or rising sign. You may also want to check your Venus energy as well. A lot of times if something doesn't resonate, looking at your moon sign or your rising sign can definitely help, okay? But for most of you Scorpios, okay, I feel like this season is really going to all be about being focused for you. So I feel like a lot of focused energy, being focused on your finances, being focused on you, being focused on your home life, being focused on your love life. You know, so for a lot of you, this could even have a lot to do with your finances. This could even have a lot to do with your personal life, like your friendships, your partnerships, the type of company you keep. Okay, um, this is going to be a very, um, one of those, not a very, but this is going to be one of those seasons for you where it's really, again, just about taking action. Okay, but keep in mind, dear Scorpio, you are strong and you know that you are a strong individual. Okay, you are stronger than you think you are. So don't take anything for granted. Don't, you know, allow fear or insecurity to overwhelm you because I sense that a lot here as well. Whatever you are, whatever you have been working on or whatever you have put on the back burner, this energy this season is really pushing you to get back in touch with your roots, um, to get back in touch with someone you used to know. Um, sorry, <laughs> trying to kill the mosquitoes. Summertime, they're out and about and trying to drive me crazy. So this is definitely going to be one of those times where it's like, you know, um... I think I got them, y'all. Nope, I didn't get them. Okay. You know what? This happened in the last video, even last month. They was driving me crazy. I don't know. I need to get my sage and do something. Okay, so I feel like there's also an energy here when it comes to healing of some sort. Maybe you need to work on some old issues or maybe some old issues will come up. Not in a bad way, like to hurt you, but or it may be something where you just need healing from, like, but it will kind of remind you of your past. Um, so something will definitely possibly come up in the month of July and regarding your past. It could be a past lover, a past life issue, something that maybe you and your spouse had to deal with, or maybe you're now getting over something that you were dealing with for a long time and maybe that situation reminded you of your past either way i feel like you guys are moving along again that energy of action and being focused i feel like there's a direct energy here like focus direct i'm focused on my money i'm focused on my career i'm focused on my family i'm focused on my money i'm focused on i did get them <laughs> look ah let me make sure look guys i'm gonna show you I got that bastard, okay? Yes, all right. Mm. I had to pick that up with something else. Ooh, so I did get them. Good hands, G1. All right, so... <laughs> so, yeah, overall, it is about action for you. And, I mean... I feel like a lot of you have been feeling really stuck, actually. A lot of you have been feeling stuck for a really long time. Feeling like you can't move about. Feeling like, why is this happening to me? And for some of you, like the month of June was really like an eye-opener for a lot of you. Like a lot of you really were like reflecting and thinking and... Uh, Kind of just thinking about you and your spouse, maybe having kind of a lot of thoughts about your past or possibly even having thoughts about your current uh, relationship if you are in a relationship, okay? But if you are single, Scorpio, um, this is still in the month of June. You had a lot of time to reflect on your decisions, the, um, the decisions that you've made, things that may have caused you to be going through what you were currently going through at that moment, okay? And it was, it was a time where you needed to kind of just put things into perspective, you know. Um, you received a lot of good news during June for a lot of you. And for some of you, you if you still have not received that good news, then you definitely will in the month of July. Because the month of July brings great blessings. With the new moon being in your sister sign, Cancer, this is definitely opening up some new doors when it comes to your finances and home-related issues, if there are any, okay? Um, this is also going to open up some doors for you on the uh, emotional front, like in a home front, basically. But I want to say, 
you know, pay attention to your kidneys this season. Pay attention, making sure that you um, alkalize your body, drink a lot of water. You may want to detox because Scorpio, you have a tendency to just work and work and be overly dedicated sometimes. And even in situations involving family or close friends or finances, you, you take it all and it just sometimes even possibly overwhelm you, okay? So it's not saying that you're going to have a bad month, but this is definitely the season where you want to kind of again that focused energy where you want to focus on your health focus on your overall health your mental health your physical health your emotional health are you allowing things to get the best of you are you stressing about something that doesn't really deserve that much attention are you sweating the small stuff okay so those are the type of things that you may want to pay attention to, okay? Pray if you need to. Practice a new ritual if you need to. But this is definitely a season where you want to kind of really, you know, no more analyzing. You analyze enough, Scorpio. You have a tendency to overanalyze and overthink everything, okay? And the universe is saying, listen, you are blessed, okay? Even if you don't feel like it, even if you feel like God has let you down, the universe want you to know that you are blessed, that they have your back, okay? The universe has your back, prosperity is here abundance is here you just have to allow yourself to be receptive allow that energy to come in and overwhelm you in a beautiful way and stop uh being so pessimistic try your best not to think so negative because a lot of times when we we don't even have to say much right we don't even have to say much but sometimes just even our thoughts guys i keep telling you all right like our thoughts really can manifest things so we have to be careful of our thoughts the things that we are saying how we are saying it you know are we are we being realistic are we being kind you know excuse me guys oh i hate the summertime when this happens oh my god Whoo! so yeah so anyway this is the time to I mean, it's okay to think, of course. I don't want you guys to rush into anything crazy. Of course, think. Use your mind, of course. Absolutely. Pray if you need to. Fast if you need to. Whatever it is. But don't forget you. Don't forget to focus on that me. I need to focus on my family. I need to focus on my health. So when everybody's putting all these demands on you and trying to get you to do everything that they need you to do, this is going to be the season for you to really just kind of take your life back in a sense, okay? So focused intention, that is key words for you this season, okay? Heal those old wounds too, um, Scorpio. Don't go into the new season with old wounds, like old situations that happen. Like, in other words, don't dwell on the past. Or So if something happened four months ago, don't bring it up in this season. Like, it happened. You literally just got past the last six months of the year, which was by far, for a lot of you, has been quite tough. It has been quite challenging, interesting. For some of you, it has been a headache. So I'm letting you know, this is not the season to dwell on anything that has happened beyond 30 days ago. Let it go. It happened. It was annoying. It gave you a headache. Fine. It stretched you out. Cool. Let it go. Move on. Manifest. Bring in that good energy because you're going to need it. With everything that the universe is doing for you right now, Scorpio, the one least thing you don't want to do is to be caught up in chaos and drama and conflict. You don't want that, okay? So focus your energy on all that is positive and watch the universe work. So let me tell you this real quick, okay? That first week of July, of course, yes, we have that beautiful new moon in your sister sign cancer, right? So that's going to make you getting back in touch with your creativity, okay? Allow that creativity to flow, my friend, okay? But guess what? If you don't feel that extra nudge to make you want to be creative that first week of June, I mean of July, excuse me, right? Wait until about the second week of July. That is when it's going to be like, wow. Like, wow, my energy is back, my confidence is back, I'm feeling fresh to death, I'm feeling really good, I'm back being creative, right? When we think of cancer energy, it's so, like, refreshing and then sensitive and then kind of, like, 
hmm, calm, right? Because cancer just love to just be comfortable and lazy at times, right? Like, they will work their ass off, though. Don't get me wrong, right? But what that is going to do for you, Scorpio, is it's going to open up some doors for you. So the more open you are and the more um, honest you are about what you desire and what you need and, you know, people from all, every aspect of your world is going to be drawn to help you. Like, even your spouse, like, you will be able to reap the rewards that you've been waiting for, Scorpio. But it's all about our thoughts. We have to change our mindset, Scorpio. We have to change our mindset. If we do not change our mindset, then therefore you are now telling the universe that you are, you know, upset and you want more of that chaos. You want more of that headache and you want more of that drama. So no complaining, Scorpio, okay? Aside from the new moon going into Cancer, <laughs> July 2nd or 3rd, I told you these bugs. But <laughs> aside from the new moon going into Cancer, ah, I got it. <laughs> Between the new moon going into Cancer, July 2nd or 3rd, we also have um, Mercury retrograde. Yes. Woo. Thank you, universe. Mercury retrograde is happening either the 7th or the 8th, give or take a day of July, going up until July 31st. But my love, listen to me, okay? Please give it up until August 10th okay to really sign any contracts but unless it's absolutely necessary if it is not life or death if it is not extremely important please do not rush to sign anything okay please do not sign anything if it's absolutely necessary and you you have to do it and it's a must just do me one favor. Just please read everything. Read every dotted line. If it's something you don't understand, don't stay here and, you know, try to be all bold and cocky and say, oh, I'll figure it out. No. Get help if you don't understand. Ask questions if you don't understand. There is nothing that is going to be too, um, anything that sounds too good to be true, ask questions, okay? I, especially when it comes to your home environment and when it comes to your finances or when it comes to your health. Because for each and every one of you, uh, this energy is going to play out differently, okay? So please, ask every single question. Surgery is no. No, no, no. No surgery during Mercury Retrograde unless it's absolutely necessary, okay? Um, you don't want to overspend during Mercury Retrograde. Mercury Retrograde is the planet, I mean, Mercury is the planet of communication, Verbal communication or just pretty much communication all around the board, right? Verbal, mental, whatever, spiritual communication, whatever it is, right? So any type of spiritual rituals you might want to do, uh, try to do it before Mercury Retrograde. Or if you want to um, sign anything, if you want to buy a new car, um, anything that has anything to do with your life, <laughs> Uh, okay, try not to do it because Mercury Retrograde has a way of making us regret it, okay? So don't do it. Please wait. If you can wait, please wait until about August 10th to make any drastic decisions, okay? It is very important. Do not try your best not to spend over $300. I always tell people that because I think it's pretty reasonable between your bills and catching up with old bills, whatever, is pretty reasonable. But again, unless it's absolutely necessary... Please hold on. Budget, budget, budget is key, okay? Oh, my goodness. These mosquitoes. Okay, I'm starting to think I didn't even kill the first one, okay? So, let's calm down, right? Scorpio, I love you, okay? But I want to also tell you about this other energy that's coming. July 15th or 16th, give or take a day. We had the full moon in Capricorn. That full moon in Capricorn will bring you the clarity that you need because Capricorn is very direct. Capricorn is serious by nature. Capricorn um, don't just allow people to tell them anything. Okay, there I got my flash spot out, okay. So Capricorn energy, they don't just let people tell them anything or to try to manipulate them into doing anything that they don't want to do. So use that energy to kind of help your spirit guide you further, okay? Especially with all these different planets floating around. We have Mars in Cancer hanging around. We're still dealing with that energy. Mercury is going to be in Cancer. Um, Saturn is still in Capricorn. Pluto is still in Capricorn. Neptune then went retrograde on us. So 
there's a lot of energy that we are still dragging through from the month of June. And we're still dragging that energy, okay? Now, by the third week of July, that will be something to look forward to, okay? Because that is when it's like, whoo, finally. Like, you can breathe. There's no stress, okay? So, and again, it, this Mercury retrograde may and it may not affect you. It just simply depends on what is in your birth chart. But I promise you, if you do the research and find out what your moon and rising sign is or where, where your Jupiter is or where your Mars is and where your Venus is, then you can probably um, help yourself to be a bit more calm and be a bit more studious during this time around. Um, because again, with Mercury retrograde, you never really know what to expect. There can be a lot of delays, a lot of miscommunication. So double check everything. Even when somebody says, yes, meet me down the street, make sure that that's really what they're trying to say. Like, I'm so serious because that is how deep, how deep Mercury retrograde is. Okay. So Anyway, I'll discuss all these planets and all that in another video. I just wanted to give you a basic overall of what to expect for the next few weeks, especially in the month of July, okay? So, guys, just, again, the key words for you is focus. Focus, intention. That is key words for you, my love, because prosperity is here, abundance is here, support is here, but you have to get over that fear, of self-doubt, that, that fear that keep holding you back, making you feel like you can't succeed, um, okay, that fear of what if I do this and I may not be able to do that, what if this happens to me, stop thinking so negative, get rid of that mindset, my love, because you are a lot stronger and a lot more blessed than you think and anticipate on, all right, so I love you, Scorpio, but I gotta go, you have a wonderful week wherever you are in this beautiful universe, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel, and comment below if you have any questions or concerns, and be nice about it, okay, guys, love and light.